Hello, 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 chaps. This is going to be a tutorial on how to install the Age of Wonders email wrapper. Now, to play by email in Age of Wonders without the wrapper, you will have to manually put uh, send an email to the next player with the turn file attached, the save game from a multiplayer PBM Age of Wonders game. You'll have to manually send that email. Uh, then when they send the next turn to you, you will have to manually open your email account, download the file, put it into Age of Wonders, then load it. Then when you've played it, you have to take the new file and email it along to the next person. It is a pain in the ass. It is not worth doing. Complete pain in the ass. So what you need to do is you need to install a program that does that for you. That automatically, when you press end turn, it automatically sends the next person the file in literally two seconds. You don't even have to open your browser or your email account. And here it is. Here is the Age of Wonders email wrapper. Uh, you can Google those words and you will find this page. Maybe I'll put it in the description. I guess I will of this video. Um, you know, extract it. You double click on setup to install it. And I don't like installing things to program files x86 because I seem to remember that that screws things up and it just and it's just like Windows 10 has protections on this folder that are just a pain in the ass. So I'm going to install it to C slash GOG games. Uh, I'm going to click on this, though that probably doesn't matter. Uh, next, to start the installation. So we're installing it. Uh, but installing it is the easy part. Getting it to actually work and hooking it up with your email account is the difficult part. So firstly, a lot of email, email providers, email accounts, simply don't work with the wrapper anymore. These days they don't work. What you should do is you should set up a Gmail account. I've set up this one just for the purposes of this uh, this video. Set up a new email account or an old one. Uh, I guess you can use, use an old one. So um, I don't know what this is. Now, in fact, I need to close all of this shit. So annoying. So you go in here, you click on these nine squares, you click on account, you go to security, and I've already done these steps, but what you need is you need an app password. And actually, the first thing you need to do is you need to turn on, you need to turn on access to less secure apps, or at least I think you do. I can't actually see it on this page anymore. So that's annoying. I don't know why I can't see that on this page, but I think you need to turn access to, uh, to turn on less secure apps access. Uh, maybe you actually don't need to do that if you, Yeah, maybe you actually don't need to do that. What you definitely do need to do is turn on two-step verification, and you do that by um, using a mobile phone. You need a mobile phone to do it. Uh, you put in your mobile phone number, they text you a code, you put in the code, and then you've verified your email account with a mobile phone. Then, once you've done that, Gmail allows you to create app passwords. So because you've set up your your Gmail with two-step verification, you can do this step. Now, what was my password for this one? It was, uh, I think it was that. Right. So I've, I've done a couple earlier when I was testing for this video, but just ignore these. Um, let, let's get rid of these. So you need to generate an app password. So you're going to go on this and type in wrapper. It doesn't really matter. I don't think what you type there. It gives you a generated app password. And um, Actually, I've got ahead of myself. So this is what we need to do on the Gmail side of things. Uh, but we also need to get the email wrapper working. So let's double click on the email wrapper. And the email wrapper does not want to open. OK, so this sucks. So um, the email wrapper isn't opening. I think I need to restart the vi I need to restart my computer for it to open. So I'm going to cut the video right here. See you in a minute. Okay, chaps, we're back online. I've restarted my computer, so now let's open the Age of Wonders email wrapper. It has opened. So it should, when you open it for the first time, automatically open this window. Uh, if it doesn't, then you just click the Add New button here on this tab, the Accounts tab. You press Add New. Uh, so we're going to put in our email account that we're trying to get to, that we're trying to. Uh, input here, so I'm going to do Age of Wonders PBM. Oh, shit. Right, there we are. Put that in the email address line, and then in the password line, you type in whatever the password is for this email account. So I do that, 
and it tries to find it and it can't find it by default. It also can't find it with MX Lookup. You select try to guess and it may call it guessing but whatever it does it works every time. So in a few seconds it will locate my email. So now uh, also it asks you about like the, the settings. I don't understand what IMAP or POP3 is. I don't know what any of this is. I just let the wrapper do it. Now we've got a problem down here which is it says alert application specific password required. So we need to uh, create an app specific password. Now it can also sometimes put up different messages. Uh, if it says um, invalid authentication that's basically the same problem. Uh, that's why we need this app specific password. In fact I didn't record what this one was so oh well, I'll just have to create a new one. Um, if it comes up with a really weird one about like object object reference is not an object then I think you can get rid of that by just restarting your computer just like I did now. Um, but anyway it wants the uh, so you can click on this button down here if your user interface for Windows 10 is the same as mine. You go to this you click poll now it comes up with this. Um, poll now is what it so poll now means check for new for new uh, PBMs for new files to play. So it wants the app specific password. We go into here. Do we? Um, okay, I need to actually log in properly. So um, go here, go to account, go to security, go to. What the hell am I doing? Where do we even do it? Okay, here it is app specific passwords. It wants your mainline email password again. So put that in, press next. Go on, let me generate it. Oh right, it won't generate it because you have to put in a name here. So it has these default ideas, but this is a special one. You just type in wrapper or whatever. You double click on this, copy it, put it into this box here. Press Control V, save settings. So this was originally the normal password that we used to sign in to the email account, but we've replaced it with the app specific password. Now that's because Gmail no longer allows just some random program like this to read its emails. So it demands an app specific password to check that everything is secure. And uh, is this going to work now? Let's see. Poll now, please work. Well, it's not throwing up the error message, so that's nice. So this might actually already be working. So this activity log is where your PBMs will show up once you have some. You can also have preferences here like auto start with Windows. We definitely want that on. So I'm going to, you can actually start your games from here. You right click on the wrapper icon down there, press Age of Wonders. See? Click play by email, new game, uh, first conflict, two human players. And now in this screen, in this screen you get to say whose email is used for which player. But since I'm just testing it with myself, um, I will just leave my email on both counts and I'll play both both of these human players. So here, here's our first turn. We we'll move a bit and press Control E to end the turn, or just press press that end turn button. You press Save. You let the AI turns happen, and then when the turn is over, you do not click. Do not click on this. Ignore that. Leave it on automated. Also, don't press Exit. That just screws it up. When you get to this screen, there's no more options. Leave it on automated. Press OK. It's set so it has successfully sent the turn to the next player. Age, you see, this is the wrapper down here saying sent to Age of Wonders, which is us. So now that was us sending a turn. You can see that it's been sent in the activity log. So now what we want to do is we want to pull now to see if we've if we're going to receive it. Also, you can just wait a minute and it will automatically uh, do that because I've got it checking for a new email every minute. But I'm impatient. Because I've got a pizza to go and cook and eat. So I'm going to press Prol now because I want to wait a minute. And it works! It worked! We have received it! So I press load game. Um, I go, yeah, PBM test. Here we are. And the first turn we were elves. Now we're goblins because this is a multiplayer game and we're playing as goblins. And it really is this easy. It's that easy. Now you can have some problems occur. So what you need to do is, if you have some problems is navigate to where you installed the wrapper, which in my case was here. And you go to the quick start guide will help you if, in case this video wasn't clear. Um, 
but what you really want is the wrapper documentation for any serious issues. Um, one of the most common issues that you might still have is that um, your antivirus might interfere. Alternative, I'm going to close this because it's making way too much noise for me. I think it's quiet for you, the dear listener, but for me it's really loud. Um, in the recording I've got it turned down by 35 decibels. But uh, So you might get interference from your antivirus and you might run into a few other issues. Um, the one I keep on running into sometimes is regedit. So you've got this thing where the wrapper doesn't know where you've installed your game. But you can fix that by following these steps. And that basically describes it. So um, you should now, after watching and following the instructions in this video, be able to play Age of Wonders via email in multiplayer. Now, if you can't, then make sure to post on on GOG.com, the GOG.com forum, and go to Age of Wonders series and post here. We will help you out. Uh, or you can post on the Steam forum, I guess. There's fewer people there, actually. Uh, another thing you should do is is you should check out uh, come on anyway, yeah you should you should check out the maps I made for this game because my maps are bloody amazing uh, Ziggurat Mason uh, let's see multiplayer maps I have made all of these maps um, desolate Malgagom is the best this is very good too um, this is very good this is quite beautiful um, yeah so this one is kind of shit, actually, honestly. It's not that great compared to the other ones. But this one is tremendous. This one is tremendous. Play them. Also, we've got mods. So, uh, Miss Downloads. I made the Sword and Sorcery rule set. It's a very good rule set. Just, just adjusting the stats of all the spells and um, just adjusting everything, really. It fixes a few minor bugs as well. And another thing is that the guy who made... Let's see. Where is he? I think he's... Um, there's this guy called Ineok Reborn. Yeah, it's this guy, Ineok Reborn. So he is going to be releasing a new hex-edited version of the game engine, which will hugely improve the game's balance and make it much more interesting to play as a strategy game. So this is going to be uh, very exciting to see. Uh, he's made a few maps himself. This is a good one versus one map. This is a nice 12-player one. It's not really that special or amazing, but it's a nice solid map. Uh, it doesn't have any like weird, crazy gimmicks like my maps do, though. Uh, and Uneasy Silence is probably the best one. Like, he has made this one where it um, it is based on the campaign, and it covers the entire campaign map, but in a single scenario. And it's very good, so you should play this one as well. Um, so yeah, play multiplayer. It's, it's tremendous. It's a great strategy game uh, because... You know, the, the game mechanics, you might say, well, this is a game from 1999. Well, what's, why is it such a great game? Shouldn't I be playing something that was released this year, like uh, Among Us or something? But this game has immense ability to, like, outplay the enemy, uh, not based on it being a mechanical fantasy game, but based on vision and who can see what. So you always have limited vision around your units, you always are struggling to scout the map, and so is your opponent. You're always trying to predict where the enemy is going to move, where they are. Uh, you're trying to keep track of what they can see about your map movements. And that makes it very interesting, because it turns it into a guessing game. Uh, so that's what you should do. Come play multiplayer with us. Um, if you have any issues with the wrapper, you've got to ask us. You've got to read the, the, uh, the manual. It's very useful. So uh, that is how to play the wrapper, to, to play Age of Wonders by, by email, multiplayer. Hope to see you soon.